computer science is um, a discipline that is undergoing a great deal of change. And this requires that as computer science educators that we come up with new ways to uh, teach the new generation of students. I've been looking for, you know, many years for something that could really get a broader audience excited about computer science. And when I saw Alice, I thought, this is really something that could fundamentally change the way computer science is taught. Alice is a system to try to get people's first exposure to learning how to program a computer to be a pleasant one. We have got a system where students can make small 3D animated movies and or 3D video games. And they do that by dragging words in a system where they cannot make a mistake. I came to CMU right at the point where we were starting work on Alice 2. Um, and one of the major goals for that was sort of the drag and drop interface and to kind of get the technical hurdles that people have with programming out of the way. So between that and the fact that you can see what's going on and you actually want to do it in the first place, then we, uh, we found that Alice was really intriguing to a lot of people. We saw that the majority of children, the majority of adults, are visual learners. And Alice teaches visually, and so you get a chance to watch what your program actually does in a way that no other tool does. The work that Alice has done in bringing these sort of more entertainment-oriented activities into schools has been proven through their research to be very effective at reaching women and other underrepresented groups showing them that computer science isn't just people sitting in cubicles writing code all day, but people being creative, using the very powerful capabilities of computers to provide even more powerful and compelling results. We really believe that Alice is one of the few silver bullets we've seen that might be able to turn around the massive decline in CS majors nationwide. This is a tool that's really going to grab kids' attention and, and properly used can, can really help them understand some, some very key ideas in, in a way that is um, intuitive and engaging and uh, motivating. They are able to create things, create worlds, tell their own stories on the computer quickly and easily without spending a lot of time mastering very cumbersome, clumsy, intricate technical software. We are really hopeful that this will make a difference in attracting more young women. The girls are often not turned on by the frustrating details of things like C++ and Java. They really enjoy the storytelling side of Alice. Students learn perseverance. They get very excited about Alice. They're willing to work through it. And when they then get into Java and some of their mid-level classes, they tend to be willing to work harder. What it builds is tremendous problem-solving sense, and it helps tremendously with the student's programming ability. My stunning success story is female. Uh, in that first class, three of the women were on our programming team that went to the ACM Regional Contest. We have never had more than one female on a programming team before. Teachers today are um, teaching in an environment where the demands on their time are rather substantial. They need extensive support tools. They need a tool that um, captures the student's attention. The Alice team has discovered that in order for the software to be successful, there has to be great support materials they have made those materials available. We've tried to provide an interesting book, one the students actually will read, and also the instructional materials 
that the teacher can use without hours and hours of prep. We've provided workshops in the summer to train them how to use these materials. They have a, a supporting website that has a wide variety of instructional materials, including PowerPoint slides, solutions to the textbook problems, further exercises, activities. They have a test bank of questions. They have sample syllabi you know, for different, different course structures. They have uh, online forums, discussion forums, message boards, which they monitor and they try and respond to in as timely a manner as possible. I'm excited about what's gonna happen with 3.0. I've been fortunate enough to work with the ALIS team. There are some intermediate step steps that we have taken so that my students in my course right now are actually working with the ALICE models in Java code. This is a way in which they are forced to confront semicolons and braces and, and the technical details of a more production-oriented language. And yet they can still do things that's engaging, that uh, still feels real to them. Randy Posh did a sabbatical at EA's main campus here in Redwood City. And one of the things that came out of our many conversations together was the idea of how EA Sims assets could be used in the Alice teaching tool. It's you know it's such an intelligent, uh, smart way to promote the study of computer science. What we're trying to do with programming is allow people to figure out how to get the machines that they have do the work that they need them to do, and allow people to do the things that they're best at, which is creatively solving problems. I've always had the most uh, utmost respect for Carnegie Mellon. They've always done some innovative things over the years and uh, I think this is the most innovative of all. We take on the real problems here and we take great pride in doing real things and things that matter. And of course the great thing about Carnegie Mellon is we come to work every day and say that. Let's not do it the way we've always done it. Let's not do it the way everybody else always does it.